wiped out. Uh, there are 1,200 in the union. At least 200 of them are uh, going to lose their job because uh, some other union, the teachers union, says it's unsafe to go in. Well, these people working for Bente, they've been dealing directly with students all through the summer, and they've been fine. But they're going to be screwed over, and these are people who need their paychecks. They're hard-working folks. They're the roll up their sleeves and, and do the actual work people, and they're going to lose their jobs because of somebody else's stupidity. Speaking of which, they've got a demonstration outside Del Lago Casino. The people who work over there, about a 1,000 of them, uh, are out of work for no good reason other than the governor says they can't open up. Well, Native American casinos have been open for almost three months now without a single reported case of COVID transmission. Obviously, casinos can be run safely uh, and cleanly. Uh, our friends, the Oneidas and the Senecas, have demonstrated that over and over, day after day. And yet, Del Lago remains closed. Those people remain out of, jur out of work because the governor is an idiot. Again, people getting screwed over for no good reason. News Radio M 1180's Bob Lonsberry back to talk with you again tomorrow from 8 till noon. News Radio M 1180 time, 5.55. You get sports at 25 and 55. It all began when the Milwaukee Bucks chose not to take the court for their playoff game late Wednesday afternoon against the Magic. Milwaukee, about 40 miles north of Kenosha, Wisconsin, the city where Jacob Blake, a black man, was shot seven times by police. All three playoff games were eventually postponed. The league's board of governors and players will meet this morning to discuss how they'll proceed. The WNBA's three games, five of six MLS matches, and three Major League Baseball games, including one involving the Brewers, were also postponed as players and coaches joined in the protest. A number of black MLB players also chose not to play in their team's games. Tennis star Naomi Osaka was drawn from the semifinals of the Western and Southern Open in reaction to the